In spring 2018, the YCCC Library conducted an assessment project on the impact of library instruction on student success. The primary goal in all of our library instruction classes is to encourage students to start their research at the library website where they can get quick access to high quality sources that come with properly formatted citations for their bibliography. A typical class will demonstrate the use of various library search tools as well as Noodlebib, the online bibliography generator. Our intent for this project was to discover if library instruction had an impact on the quality of student research projects. For this project, we analyzed the impact of various kinds and amounts of library instruction on the quality of student research projects, focusing on source selection and citation style. For our data, we collaborated with faculty in the departments of science, psychology, and veterinary technology. The introductory level biology class received no library instruction but have very specific assignment guidelines from the instructor. The upper level psychology class had no library instruction during the current semester, but had previously received library instruction in a required lower level psychology class. The introductory level of veterinary technology received one library instruction session. The introductory level of psychology received one library instruction session plus a required reference interview with a librarian. We used a rubric that scored on source selection. Was the source relevant? Was there a variety of source types? Did they meet the requirements of the assignment? Were they high quality sources? We also scored on citation style. Did the student properly cite sources in text? Was the bibliography properly formatted? Were all the sources cited in the text included in the bibliography and vice versa? Was there evidence of plagiarism? We further identified whether or not the student had used the library website for their research. Here's a summary of the results. Let's look at the comparisons between the classes that had no instruction and those that did. The data shows that a large percentage of students who had no instruction did not use the library website even when they had had library instruction in previous semesters. And although the students did quite well in their selection of sources, they scored very low on their bibliographies. A comparison of the numbers from the two site classes show that students are not retaining knowledge about citation style from semester to semester. Now let's look at the classes that had library instruction. A much higher percentage of these students used the library website. These students also did very well in their selection of sources, but the bibliography scores in these two classes are significantly higher, even in the veterinary technology class that scored the lowest in overall citation style. So what went wrong with the bibliographies? Let's take a closer look. Only 37% of the students who had no instruction created successful bibliographies as compared to 90% of the students who had instruction. The unsuccessful bibliographies all shared errors that could have been avoided by using the properly formatted citations provided through the library's research tools and by using Noodlebib. Let's take another look at our summary results. The lower level site class that had a library instruction class as well as a required visit with a librarian seems to provide our gold standard for the library's impact on student success. In these interviews, the student works with a librarian to find appropriate sources for their project as well as setting up their personal Noodlebib account if necessary. We believe that this one-on-one -on -one time with the librarian helps to reinforce the skills students learn in class. It is an opportunity for students to try out their new skills hands-on with a guide on the side. Other research has shown that students retain new knowledge and skills that are relevant to them, in this case working on their own specific topic, instead of the general research topic demonstrated in a lecture style class. In conclusion, students who received library instruction were more likely to use the library website, and this had a direct impact on the quality of their citations and their bibliographies because the library website provides access to properly formatted citations through its search tools and gives students access to Noodlebib for properly formatted bibliographies. Closing the loop, we will communicate our findings with faculty and encourage them to offer library instruction in introductory classes and refresher instruction in upper level classes. We'll increase faculty awareness of our video tutorials, assessments, and other learning materials on research and citation style for inclusion in their courses. We'll encourage faculty to require a reference interview with a librarian to reinforce students' new skills and knowledge of research and citation style.
the library will create additional learning materials to support instruction, learning, and retention of new skills and knowledge. The library will offer more drop-in, hands-on workshops on citation style.